traditional citizenship ceremonies are built on shared experience, but Kimberly Simon says she still got that when hers happened online. I cried actually. So it wasn't about us being in a room. We still got that connection. You saw all types of people like from their homes. Um, and that was phenomenal. Congratulations. After the COVID-19 pandemic drove the ceremonies online, the government says that option is now more popular. In the last half of 2022, more than 90% of new Canadians took their oaths that way. But critics say it's no substitute for the real thing. I really believe that helping people come to Canada and interact with Canada in the most ways possible helps them become better community members. The son of immigrants, Calgary's former mayor, says some of his most meaningful days in office involve presiding over citizenship ceremonies. Now, more than 1,500 people signed a petition urging Ottawa to dump the virtual option, including former Governor General Adrian Clarkson. The worthwhile things in person should never be replaced by anything online. Clarkson says over the years, foreign governments have told her they're jealous of Canada's traditional ceremonies. Citizenship is not just about administration. Citizenship is about exercising all your rights and privileges and also taking part in the social fabric of your country. The immigration minister says he prefers in-person ceremonies, but says that the ones online provide a benefit. We need options that are flexible especially in rural regions, and we've certainly heard it from rural colleagues and from people that don't want to move 100 or 200 kilometers to do an in-person citizenship ceremony. The department says it's working through its citizenship backlog. It launched a consultation on ceremonies earlier this year and is now weighing its options. Rafi Bujikanyan, CBC News, Ottawa.